Hi, this is Sibila Extreme Vocal and why is your fry screen quiet? During recent lessons with some of my students, I've observed that the default setting of their voice, the most natural onset that they are used to, is often reflected in their fry scream. If their voice is used to a softer, gentler or smaller sound, then their fry scream is also usually quieter, smaller and less intense. On the other hand, I observe that people that are used to a more open, resonant and sonorous sound of their voice when they speak or sing, have much easier time in achieving a louder and fuller sound of their fry scream even if they have only a few days or weeks of experience with practicing the fry scream. And it comes very naturally for them. It doesn't cause any extra analysis, focus or effort. It's something that happens automatically. Intrigued by these observations, I decided to check if there's really any relation between the voice setting and the sound of the fry scream. And instead of focusing only on the fry scream and various ways of how to make it louder, stronger or more powerful, we also started to practice more with the clean voice. Our task was to achieve an open, confident and sonorous sound of the voice that feels completely comfortable and is easy to achieve at any given moment and then to use this setting of the voice as a basis for building up the fry scream. It turned out that the most of my students who struggled with quieter and smaller fry screams could achieve two or even three times bigger sound only because of changing the setting of their voice underneath their scream. And what's interesting is that for most of them the larger sound felt actually much more comfortable than the smaller one that they were used to. Now I will show you a few examples that will help you to understand what I am talking about. A softer, gentler and more delicate setting of the voice and its impact on the sound of the fry scream. Wow wow wow. 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 Wow 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 wow. Wow 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 wow. Wow 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 wow. A more open, confident and resonant setting of the voice and its impact on the sound of the fry scream. Wow 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 wow. 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 Wow. Wow 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 wow. Wow 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 wow. When my voice is softer and quieter, my fry scream is also softer and quieter. And when my voice is bigger and more open, my fry scream naturally becomes louder and stronger. However, it's very important to discover what is the proper level of volume and intensity. Because if you will aim for too big, too loud sound too early, you will likely create a massive constriction and tension inside of your throat and fail. This is why it's very important to observe how far you can take the sound without losing the proper technique, which means a good sound and the highest level of comfort possible. And now how to help your voice get used to this more open and resonant setting? The case is very simple. You can practice with syllables and vowels in a way that can remind of shouting. Usually syllables like wow, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Ha, 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 or hey, 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 or vowels like a, 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 o, o, o work best. The sound should feel completely comfortable, compressed, yet open and free from any extra tension or constrictions. You can aim for the level of volume between 4 or 7 out of 10. Ha, 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 hey, 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 hey. Whoa, 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 wow, 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 a, 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 o, 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 o. You can also start with a quieter sound and build it up like this. Whoa, 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 Wow 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 or you can do something like this Whoa wow Whoa wow Whoa wow Whoa wow 
Once you feel that you figured out the proper level of volume and intensity, you can start to build the bridge between the clean sound and the fry scream. Here are a few examples of how you can do it. Whoa, 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 it's very helpful to look for a balance in the volume of both sounds. It will help you to dynamically and smoothly transit from this clean, open and resonant voice setting into the fry scream without causing extra tension and constrictions inside of your voice box. It's also worth mentioning that throughout the first attempts, the clean sound can be slightly bigger than your fry scream. Alright, so that's it for today. If you look for more exercises, check out two fry screen projection exercises in the description below the video. And if you want to learn how to fry scream, false chord scream, growl, perform gutturals, pig squeals, tanner throat screams, check out the complete guide to extreme vocals, a course with over eight hours of content that will guide you step by step for the world of extreme vocals in a healthy and effective way. Thank you very much for today, if you liked the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, have a great practice and see you around.